Hey everyone, my name is Nick Orlando, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to train dialogue intents. So dialogue intents represent those more complex conversational capabilities that we're going to be building out, whether to gather information or execute tasks and what have you. Uh, we're going to be training our machine learning engine as well as our fundamental meaning engine in this video. So we're going to get started with Orlando Store. This is the electronics e-commerce virtual assistant that we have. We're going to, under the natural language tab, we're going to click into training. And up top, we can see that we have a couple different ways that we can train. We can train our intents, our entities, bot synonyms, concepts, and traits. We're not going to get into everything in this video. Some of them are more advanced topics that will be covered at a later time. Um, but we're going to start off by training um, our intents and adding utterances to train our machine learning models. So we're going to do the track order intent. I've already removed all of the utterances. And what we're going to do is we are going to start adding some data. As a rule of thumb, you know, with machine learning, the more data, the better. Um, but with a big asterisk, it's the more quality data that you have. So quality data represents things that are relevant to your topic and also diverse, which means different ways of saying the same thing, right? So with tracking an order, as an example, I could say, I want to track an order. And I could also say, I need help finding my order or what's, you know, what's the status of my delivery? What's the status of my pro uh, product or package? You know, these are many different ways of saying the same thing, but the more diversity you have in your data set, the better the machine learning model is going to be able to perform. And over time, what you can do is you can use both our testing suite as well as our analytics um, to capture more unique ways, more quality data that you can talk about tracking in order or a different capability add those to the data set and make the ML model more robust over time. So we're gonna add a couple of utterances just so that we can um, you know, make sure that the virtual assistant is being trained to understand things about tracking in order. So we can say, I uh, would like to track my order. Let's see, what else can we do? What is the status of status of my order. Um, let's see. Uh, I need help finding information on my order that I recently placed. Show me my order details and we'll just add one more for the sake of this video show me my order details and then we can say something like just track order even something simple like that so now we have some utterances in the data set that we can train our ml model on and then within our fundamental meaning engine we also can build out patterns and rules uh, rules go hand in hand with traits and we're not going to dive into that in this uh, particular video, um, but we are going to build out some patterns. I've already added these uh, just for the sake of easiness uh, so that we can kind of move forward in this video. Um, the different characters, you know, represent different things. So with track order, these arrows represent that if you see the words track in order in any order, so it could be, you know, where's my order, I need help tracking it, or I'd like to track my order. Um, it doesn't matter if those are identified, then it's going to match with uh, this intent. Um, there's different, you know, different meanings for different characters. You can read more about this in the developer documentation that we have. Uh, but what I want to do is call attention to this last one, right? Um, and most importantly, this little tilde delivery status. So delivery status represents a concept. So this pattern is going to be using the concept of delivery status. So the first thing that we're going to do is 
let's train our um, ML model really quick. So we're gonna press the training button. It's training, it's gonna you know, take a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes. Uh, the more robust and the more data that you're training your ML models on, the more time it takes. Uh, however, we have made it very efficient and it never takes too, too long. Uh, so let's just give it a second and then we can move forward and talk about defining our concept. All right, so the training is complete. So we should have some understanding of uh, tracking in order and we can, um, you know, we can test that out. Um, so next what I wanna do is talk about entities, bot synonyms, and concepts. So entities really quickly just wanna call out, you know, these are things that we can extract from a user's utterance, such as, you know, a phone number, a payment method, name on card, the person's name, any information that can be helpful in executing the action or gathering the correct information for that user. Uh, similarly with bot synonyms, uh, we have all of these different words that may be popping up. And what we want to do is we also want to have synonyms so that there's different ways that we can talk about the same thing, right? And then we're going to dive into our concepts. And what we can see here is that our concepts represent, I mean, it, it says it in the name, right? It's a concept. So there could be hello or goodbye, and that could represent different ways of saying hello, different ways of saying goodbye, how are you doing, all of these different things. And what we're going to do is we're going to define a new concept so that we can talk about delivery status as we just defined that pattern. So what we want to do is name the concept and then we're going to add different synonyms. So some of the synonyms uh, for our delivery status could be uh, delivered, we could do um, shipped, we could do processed, um, arriving, and maybe something like dispatch. So we've added, um, we've added the synonyms, we've built out this concept, we can see that these have been added successfully, and then we can go here, and what we see is that we have right here on our delivery status, we have all of the synonyms that can be used for this concept. So then, I'm gonna go right back over to our intense page, I'm gonna open up track order again. When we look at our pattern, is my, you know, order or package or product, and then the delivery status. So it could be delivered, shipped, arriving, whatever that may be. So we have different ways that we can actually talk about this. So that was a quick introduction around how to train dialogue intents, both on the machine learning side, as well as on the fundamental meaning side. Uh, thanks for watching and looking forward to our next conversation.